walk outside in general, I'm just hit with that smoke smell. Once the fire takes hold, uh, it spreads so quick, quickly. All I can say is it's just terrifying. Staffing uh, here is, uh, volunteers are hard to get at this time of COVID and everything. And we really need people out here. New reaction tonight from Fort Wayne natives on the wildfires devastating parts of the nation out west. Good evening, everyone. I'm Tom Powell. My partner, Linda Jackson, has the night off. Fort Wayne's NBC reporter, Louis Tran, begins our team coverage tonight with more on the fires and specifically how people from the fort are responding. Louis. Tom, the fires are impacting most of the west coast. Now take a look at this photo right here. The top photo is a normal day in Seattle. The middle, that was taken on Friday. Now the bottom, that's Saturday. Parts of the west coast on fire. Wildfires damaging many parts of California, Oregon, and Washington, with thousands of families feeling the impact. Gone. All these houses in here are gone. Including Fort Wayne native Stephanie Mitchell, who lives in the Bay Area. Literally looked like the apocalypse, and it was just such an uh, eerie feeling. Mitchell says the air is thick and it can be difficult to breathe. You can see the ash. Sometimes it, it looks like it's raining and it's just ash falling. In the valley right now, the air quality is terrible. Fort Wayne native Ralph Waterhouse also lives in California. He's in the Fresno area and believes these fires are signs of a bigger issue. Make it perfectly clear to everyone that climate change, um, radical weather changes are real. First responders are working tirelessly to respond, and two Fort Wayne volunteers just joined the fight. These people need us out here. Scott Pugh and Lacey Hillbrook volunteer for the American Red Cross in Fort Wayne. In Salem, Oregon, one of many hot spots, they're providing food and shelter to those in need. Some of these people have lost homes. Some of these people uh, have lost loved ones. Giving a helping hand. That's what Pew and Hillbrook are trying to do, but Pew says it's not enough. Volunteers are hard to get at this time of COVID and everything, and we really need people out here. Both men will stay in Oregon for two weeks. If you'd like to learn more on how you can help, I'll have a link in this story at fortwaynesnbc.com.